So we're going to do a simple uh, phase change um, calculation just to introduce you to it. So we've uh, done several of these um, examples where there is a temperature change. So of course we use the specific heat of the substance and we uh, you know take the, the difference in temperature, the final temperature minus the initial temperature. But um, there are, there is uh, another uh, aspect to this and that is um, when there's a phase change so um, the heat Q in uh, in calories let's indicate that here so this is also in calories let's see um, so Q is in calories uh, the mass in this equation is in grams and the, the this uh, L here is called the latent heat. All right, so the latent heat. Um, there's actually uh, three different types of latent heat. Well, I discussed that in the in the lecture um, in another video, uh, or earlier video. Anyhow, um, so uh, the units for, for this are calories per gram. And uh, just to, to to give you an example for. Uh, for water, for uh, eight, well, for H two O. Okay, so you know, for water, um, there's uh, what's called the latent heat of fusion. Latent heat of fusion, and uh, that value is eighty calories per gram. Eighty calories per gram. So, um, to let's say that you had just one gram. Of, uh, of of ice, for example. So you start out with one gram of ice. It would take 80 calories oh, per gram. Sorry, I forgot to write the per gram part. It would take 80 calories for each gram. Uh, that that's how much energy per gram you need to melt the the uh, the ice. Okay, and then uh, another way to look at oh sorry the the other one that we'll, that we'll use is the latent heat of vaporization, so that's called L sub V. And so that's, for example, when you're going from um, from a liquid to a gas. Um, for, for, so for water, this value is 540, 540 um, calories per gram. So notice it's a lot more energy uh, to boil, to, to turn, to turn uh, liquid water at, at the boiling point, right? This, this only happens when the temperature of the water, uh, you know, the temperature of the water is at the, at the boiling point, which of course we know is 100 degrees Celsius. So, so once you get to 100 degrees Celsius, then uh, this equation describes what takes place. The, the energy no longer um, changes the changes the temperature, but the water will begin to go into from liquid form into uh, gaseous form. So uh, let, let me let me just point that out right here. So uh, we have solids uh, going to liquid, going to a gas. So uh, when that when that's taking place, when the phase changes in this direction. Right. Uh, what we're doing is we're adding, we're adding heat. So uh, the the latent heat of fusion is positive in this direction, and the latent heat of vaporization L sub V is that's a, supposed to be a V is is positive as well if you're going in that direction because you're adding heat. Right. To go from a liquid to a gas, you have to add heat. Well, it's it's exactly opposite, as you might imagine. Uh, when you're going from a gas uh, to a liquid, okay, so we're going from a gas to a liquid. So in that case, you're removing heat. And to indicate that, we make, you have to, and you have to do this yourself. Um, the equation doesn't do it for you. So, so you have to be aware that if you're going from a gas to a liquid, uh, then that's uh, a negative latent heat of vaporization. And similarly, uh, if you're going from a liquid to a solid, in other words, you're freezing some water or something like that, um, it, it's also negative, that it, but it's the latent heat of fusion. All right, so, so oops, I made that F a little too big. Uh, okay, so, so uh, that's something to be aware of. Um, and let's get to our example. 
So um, my first example here is going to be very, very simple. We're going to have a mass of, uh, uh, of ice of ice at, uh, well, let's, let's indicate the, ma the mass of the ice is, um, oh, I don't know, how about 150 grams? So you have 150 grams of ice, and it is at zero degrees zero degrees Celsius. In other words, it's right at the point where it can phase change. All right? And so we're going to you know, go back to uh, the phase change equation. Here it is, Q equals MC times the latent heat. And since this is um, uh, this, well, it's this, this way, uh, a solid uh, about to phase change into a liquid, we're going to use positive L sub F, and the, the latent heat of fusion is uh, 80 calories per gram for liquid water. Dif different substances is going to be different values. We'll pretty much, uh, uh, in all of our problems, uh, we'll just stick with water. All right, and so uh, so it's pretty pretty simple. And so the amount of heat Q um, to completely change this mass into liquid water. And and by the way, with this equation, Q equals m C delta. Sorry, sorry, Q equals m times the latent heat. In this case, the latent heat of fusion. Um, the temperature will be the same after this phase change has taken place. So the the 150 grams of ice will now be 150 grams of water, of liquid water, at zero degrees Celsius. And that, that's important when we get into a little bit more complicated problems like multi-step problems. All right, And so, uh, so again, this is pretty easy. 150 grams times um, 80 calories per gram. And of course, the grams cancel. And so your answer will be in calories. And so let me grab my calculator. All right, so um, I just typed this into my calculator and I get, and, and you should work these out too, um, you know, tw this one's not very hard, uh, 12,000 calories. Okay, and uh, of course we could, we could also convert that uh, to joules. Remember the, the uh, you know the, the the fact that there's there's in one calorie there's 4.184 joules if we wanted to but uh, this is perfectly fine right here 12,000 calories so that's how much uh, energy is added to 150 grams of ice at, at, at exactly the phase change the point of phase change which is zero degrees Celsius the temperature anyway um, and and you add that uh, th th that a total amount of 12,000 calories and that changes it from ice to water, 150 grams of water at zero degrees um, Celsius. All right, so uh, let's take it another step uh, in the next example. So for the next example, we're like I said, we're going to uh, do a little bit more complicated um, thing, and uh, I, I want to bring attention to uh, table 4.4 on page 102 of our textbook. Uh, because that has some really good information that we, that we're going to need to solve this problem. Um, let, let's let's this time uh, we'll stick with the same amount of ice. Um, let's say that we had a mass of ice, and the mass is uh, 150 grams. Uh, but this time the initial temperature is let's say oh I don't know how about negative um, 35 degrees Celsius and what we want to do is we want to bring the final temperature up to let's say um, 50 degrees Celsius so the temperature final I want to be 50 positive 50 degrees Celsius okay so that's basically halfway uh, you know, from zero halfway to the boiling point, and so 50 degrees Celsius, starting at negative um, 35. Now, the reason that we need um, this uh, this this table here um, will become apparent very very quickly. Uh, so, we, by starting starting with this, um, 
the, the, the incorrect way to do this would be just to write the specific heat equation, Q equals MC delta T, use this as the final temperature, use this as the initial temperature. You cannot do it that way, and do not do it that way, okay? I, I want to make sure everybody understands that. Um, this is a, uh, there's going to be a phase change because, see, we're, we're going to go through, to, to get from here to here, we have to go through zero degrees um, Celsius. And when we go through zero degrees Celsius, this is going to um, require a phase change. So there's multi-steps involved here. In fact, if you think about it, um, there'll be three steps. The first step will be to raise the temperature of the ice to, to, the, um, to the melting point. And then the second step uh, is to completely change the phase from ice to, to, uh, to, to water, to liquid water, as, as we did in the last example. Uh, and then the third phase is to go from liquid water at zero um, degrees uh, to 50 degrees Celsius, which, um, so, so there's going to be two times that we're using Q equals MC delta T, right? Uh, and then there's going to be one time that we use, uh, you know, uh, Q, Q equals um, the mass times the latent heat. And of course, it's going to be the latent heat of fusion. So Q equals m m times the latent heat of fusion. Okay, so so uh, we're going to use this one twice, two times, and uh, sorry, this one, and then we'll use this one once, um, but but in very different ways, <coughs> as you're going to see. Okay, so to go from negative 35 to zero. I'm going to call this Q1. So this is our first step, Q1. And so we're we're doing a we're just doing a temperature conversion. And so it's uh, it's the mass. What was the mass? Uh, I think it was 150. Okay, so 150 um, grams. Now see this in in Q1. Remember we are going from from ice at negative 35 to ice at zero. So, you know, that's, that's just a temperature change, but you have to use the specific heat of ice. And this is where, um, if you look at table 4.4, uh, the, the, they're all there. Like, the specific heat of water is, uh, is 1, of course. The specific heat of ice is 0.5. The specific heat of steam is uh, 0.48, and they're all in calories per gram. So this is going to be... Um, uh, the specific heat of ice, which is 0.5. See, see, it's not always one, so don't you know get that out of your head. Um, and so uh, now it's the final temperature, which in this case is going to be zero, zero degrees um, minus the initial temperature. So it's going to be minus negative 35. And if you remember, of course, minus a minus is really a plus. So really it is just 150 times one-half times uh, 35. And, and it's positive, right? That, that first step is positive because you're um, adding energy.